our parent did something which we are not fully grateful for most of us which is ma baap mein se na ek parent pehle 6 7 saal ghar pe tha i mean i haven't dealt with arrogance but i've i've dealt with stubbornness everybody wants to feel in control of their life it's the most basic feeling we want i'm really struggling with my son's upbringing he is a single child and i'm a single parent that too working and he doesn't listen to me doesn't study please guide may i just answer the first part of this question yes please i know the questions directed to our preet but your child not listening to you has got very little to do with you being single i promise you we're all in the same boat if there's any solace over there so we should like you know uh understand that children not listening i feel like is a common factor even if you're not a single parent so i feel like don't don't single yourself out based on that but i'm sure harpreet you have a different an- a different answer you know, thank, thank you actually neha for bringing that up right and i want to put it out there that all research says that children actually don't even need their parents to to be confident and successful in life okay uh, i'm the reason i'm saying this okay, is yeah. what the child needs yes i'm saying that what the child needs is one adult who believes in the child and who's there for the child okay oh, nice. so like you said a single mother a single father they can be more load in taking care but you know because one another adult is absent it doesn't mean anything at all you know even a you it is going to be absolutely fine yeah um now my child doesn't listen to me what i don't know is the age of the child yeah but uh, so it's difficult to answer without that but essentially the thing i've seen at least i have seen is that the child everybody wants to be in control of their life everybody wants to feel in control of their life it's the most basic feeling we want if neha i was to say to you you have to listen to me all the time how will you feel about it nobody can feel great about it right you know you might listen to your parents you might listen to your spouse a little bit here and there but you want to feel in control of your life that's the most central feeling of feeling alive that i am in control of my life no matter what happens i am in control yeah. Yeah. and in most such cases what is happening is that the parent is raising the child with concern rather than love you know there is a lot of no in the house lot of don't do this don't do that don't do this and the child will not listen What's the other, the child other direction? I'm I'm going to confess that uh, my nose. I mean, and you know, a lot of people and a lot of different parents, and I've seen because you know I have two kids. I see parents all the time, and I feel like their no comes from a place from different places. Sometimes it comes from a place of wanting to achieve a lot for your children. Sometimes mm-hmm. it comes from a place of fear. Sometimes it comes from a place of of competition. Like, no, don't do this, and I think you need to go and you know attend this class and do that. my no comes from a place of uh just one thing safety mm. uh so i'm like do whatever you want so like we have this big parallel bar and i can't turn it around cuz i'm sitting in my kids play area mm. right now and uh by this lovely brand that actually gifted it to us now that i'm looking at it i might as well mention because it was a gift it's called bloom toys so they have this big parallel bar hanging thing and uh you know my my daughter is really good at hanging upside down gymnastics cartwheels all of that she's not five she's going to be five next week and my so my clear thank you my clear thing to her is no don't hang upside down to show people because when she gets into showmanship she forgets you know that she has to hold on to it and she's like mama look mama look and if i'm somewhere with someone and if i don't look instantly she's like she tries to call out to me and then she leaves her hands so i'm like no don't do that so it comes from a place of safety am i wrong in doing that are other parents wrong in saying a, yeses and no look i'm saying i want to actually step back and say yeah, there is nothing right and wrong in any of this we have to absolutely start thinking of parenting as right and wrong you know we are doing everybody each one of us is doing parenting in a certain way because of our past right and i think almost i think every parent cares about the child so even if when you're saying no you you saying it out of care yeah so the idea is to in my head the idea actually is to how do i say my child has changed me because it has because my child has forced me to look within myself when do i interrupt why do i interrupt yeah and and it and the biggest thing that has worked helped me is to step back 
and respond instead of react. Yeah. So don't. That's a big one. That was a learning for me after I became a parent, and I applied that in life as well. Absolutely. So that's it. You step back, observe your child. Step back, back, observe your child. I'm saying if if parent can do this, you know somebody said to me, why why do we need parenting advice? You know why? हमारे माँ बाप ने तो नहीं ली अभी हम क्यों ले करेक्ट एंड आई एब्सोल्युटली एग्री विद इट आई हंड्रेड परसेंट एग्री विद इट इफ यू कैन डू टू टू थिंग्स यू नो वन आर पेरेंट डिड समथिंग व्हिच वी आर नॉट फुली ग्रेटफुल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ़ अस व्हिच इज माँ बाप में से ना एक पेरेंट पहले छह सात साल घर पे था वन ऑफ देम वॉज मोस्टली अराउंड वन एडल्ट वॉज अराउंड फॉर गेट पेरेंट वन एडल्ट कॉन्स्टेंटली वॉज अराउंड इनिशियल इयर्स राइट एंड that adult is actually the child is borrowing confidence from that adult in some way for the first 6 years of life yeah so wo tha jo hum nahi kar pa rahe because hum busy hain you know we have our own jobs we have our own things to do so that is one if you can do that and if you can step back and observe your child that's it kuch mat suno yaar kuch mat karo instagram band kar do sab kuch band kar do kuch mat karo kuch zarurat how to help build my daughter and make her more resilient uh, we'd love to hear that answer from you harpi I will say that there are two things for young children, like you said, your child taking out that chocolate and eating and finishing that task is confidence building. Yeah. Okay, that, yeah. that's what you shared earlier, right? That is confidence building right there. That is resilience right there. Nothing else needs to be done than a child being allowed to pursue their curiosity. Okay, while keeping them safe. That is our job. now for the first two years of life the child gets the confident from the constant presence of at least one adult you know when that adult you know if you when a child is born after a few months if you go outside the room the child starts crying because the child feels mama gone from room matlab mama gone mama gone gone right gone but when you come back and when you do it again and again the child realizes out of sight does not mean mama gone just means she's not in this physical space yeah. okay so the child gets confidence by one adult for the first two years and then what the child needs for the next life but definitely for the next 4 5 years is active experiences which means you go to a playground the child is clinging to you you stay there for 15 minutes the child starts to walk a little bit ahead looks back to see is my parent there the parent is there goes a little further plays on you know a small uh thing looks is mama dad are there yes okay then as the grows older starts to play with somebody else there's a loud sound that happens the child comes running back to the parent you are the safe space and then they know okay something happened my parent is there no problem builds confidence because you have the protection and then the child again goes next time the sound occurs just looks at the parent is there okay then starts to become okay with the sound okay starts to play with others move further away from the house so this is all there is to it there's nothing else at all i was saying so my child doesn't want to go to school every day he's very arrogant and i'm not arrogant i would imagine and not able to handle him i mean it's it's, it's not an uncommon problem but uh, the solution only her cake may have <laughs> i mean i'm not yeah, yeah. I'm, my giggle was only for you but i know it's a trouble someone you know when your child gets i mean i haven't dealt with arrogance but i've i've dealt with stubbornness yeah you know so so look uh, there's no way to answer the question on the basis of that information itself but the idea the core idea is if a child is being arrogant the child seems to be pushing back right maybe there is too much control in the house that is possible it is possible and you know there are these different things near which is why would a child not want to go to a happy place there's no reason for if there's a place like my life my wife uh, loves autumn leaves falling you know kuch bhi kare usko bolo koi aisi jagah jana hai jahan pe autumn leaves gir rahe hain she'll be like chalo chalo let's go because that's her happy place you know so why wouldn't somebody go to their happy place they would go so why does the child not want to go you know i under tens of reasons one child didn't want to go because the teacher slapped another child and now this child is afraid i i might get slapped another child doesn't want to go because the school makes them sit in a place another child used to go happily now doesn't go because a sibling is born in the house yeah and the child feels my space will be taken up by the sibling so i'm just saying there are so many Or reasons there's more fun at home than there is on the absolutely other. there's more fun at home than at school 100% there's so many possible reasons 
which this parent themselves can uncover if they are willing to not look at not going at school as a bad thing or a wrong thing but say how can i understand my child what is my child saying to me if you can step back you will find the answer there is no doubt yeah last very important question long story short by dhania who's asking how not to make our child our experiment or project in the world of cutthroat competition i feel it's a really important question to answer and end with so please i'll let you take center stage on this what do you think our how not to make our child our experiment or our project in the world of cutthroat competition now for me it's very simple i apply the same rules in my i only know as much as i know and i can only apply my rules not even my rules my learnings to my own children and i come from a cutthroat business and i realized very not in my 20s i didn't realize that because i was not my own person i was just like management is saying do this or somebody else is saying do this or stylist is saying ye kapde pehno to wo kar liya i became cool or i'd like to believe i became myself cool. <laughs> and i am a cool person so i'd like to believe that or cooler than what i thought uh i'm over explaining now but in my 30s i was like i just do what i want as long as i'm not hurting anyone the one thing i cut out of my life was competition you want to go to hell compete with someone competition and comparison not competition but i would say comparison is the shortest route to hell so stop comparing uh carve your own niche um competition of course is something that is required that's healthy because failure is a big kind of uh, you know teacher in life and the most beautiful thing about one thing i've learned about failure is that somewhere apart from you maybe someone else working harder than you and all those learnings and at that point you're like okay that person did it because this one worked harder than me this that and the other but if you look back at failure in reverse it was all a part of god's plan so don't beat yourself up about it because eventually something better was waiting for you i don't know what that is and you'll never get the answer of that when you're actually in competition and don't succeed but later on in life and you look back the answer is always there but that's my philosophy it doesn't have to be everybody's absolutely you said something very beautiful you said you know remove competition and comparison remove comparison from your life right and uh, this question is also bo- born out of concern for our child uh, so removing comparison is just such a beautiful thing to do you know and i want to pick a word neha which you said you said something better is waiting for me you know better in my head is a comparative word okay so whatever is waiting for me is waiting and that's okay yeah. i will yeah, deal with okay. it when it comes i retract yeah? i, I agree with you and i am in full uh, i i i consent with you 100% about this statement i retract but that's what i meant yes better choice yes, not I, going to use that yes it, no absolutely because i'm thinking it is clear from the way you are saying it you know that that is what you meant that whatever will happen will happen and we'll deal with it when it happens and you know whenever i get a little worried about or if there's a worry in my head about my child or whatever is happening in my life you know i remind i had read something which has stayed with me uh, you know the universe was born it's supposed to be with a big bang right a multiple big bangs so before big bang there was no light yeah because everything was dark and then there was big bang and then now there is light there is a sun and all the suns and millions and billions of suns and galaxies at some point this sun will fade away 3 and a half 4 billion down the line the sun will run out of energy then all the stars in the universe will run out of energy right this is a the fact then there again will be darkness in the universe correct if we plot this on a time graph saying these events on a time graph you know what it looks like it looks like bang one second of light followed by billion billion years of darkness in that one second all of us live our sun lives other entire universe lives then we are it's there's nothing to worry about you know there is nothing at all in the grand perspective of thing there is nothing at all so you have some time with your child enjoy your time stay happy that's about it have a good day 